Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Crozier Gym for MIAA Division I Girls Basketball Playoffs. It's the preliminary round, North Andover, ranked 31st. Brockton, ranked 34th. North Andover, 8 and 12 on the year. Brockton's 10 and 10. This could be the best matchup we've had for the girls all year. Uh, just one point separates the teams in the power ranking. We have a huge NA Camp crew, Leo on the camera, Nick uh, on the controls, Nick Kissel down on the floor camera. I'm Coach Bags from the track team, your discus friend, and my choice fitness workout buddy, Vince Zawicki is here. Big game, Vince. Oh, man, you know it playoff basketball. I love it. Doesn't get better than this. Win, move on, lose. You wait until next year. Survive right? in advance. That's it. That's it. The best time of year. Seems like we were just doing this a year ago, and we had a great run last year by both the boys and girls, and let's hope we get the same this year. Well, last year we had some boys-girls doubleheaders. That's not going to be the case this year. Uh, so survive in advance. Some seniors here, there could be their final high school basketball game. So that's kind of sad. But if you win, nothing better than winning a game in the playoffs, yeah. especially at home. Especially at home, right? We were wondering, you and I were kind of texting before the brackets came out, wondering if the girls would get in. Did they do enough? They were sitting on that 32 line with an under 500 record. And then, boom, the brackets came out. They moved up a spot and get a home game. Yeah, so the girls had to wait until the brackets came out on Saturday. Brockton found out a week earlier when they got their 10th win. They had two huge, two big wins, one over Belmont at home, which is a higher ranked team, and then a huge win over Cardinal Spellman. So they know a little longer than North Andover. We're gonna, Bill Jensen, gonna announce the starting lineups. A very veteran Brockton team. They have eight seniors on this team? Eight seniors. And one, I think one junior, a couple soft and a freshman. So it's they're relying on their seniors, right? No yeah, doubt. I think the all it's an all senior starting lineup. I think uh, for Brockton, uh, look out for number four, Via King. I think she can kind of do it all, a little bit of everything. Pretty uh, tall team, uh, Brockton across the board, especially when compared to North Andover. Yeah, they got some size. We were watching them warm up. Um, they look a little pretty athletic. Bill Jensen has the wrong starting lineup. He called out number yeah. one, Sian, uh, Sian Fernandez. And I think it's, he's looking for number 11, Sonali <laughs> Carter. I was just going <laughs> to say, man, we got the, the, the veteran announcer, floor announcer, Bill Jensen. He, he's perfect and he doesn't make mistakes. And oh, man. Come on, Bill. Well, just kidding. Sonali Carter, number 11, <laughs> has that long hair, like yeah. hiding one, right one of the ones right. on the back of her jersey. But I think we're going to start over with the starting lineups. Yeah, let's do it again, right? Nothing wrong with that. Oh. It's like the North Andover section is starting to fill in. Let's we'll see if some more students come. Yeah. Oh, so um, if you're watching us live on NA Cam or on the Cam Ed station, welcome. If you're uh, streaming us live from the website, welcome. If you're from Brockton, Welcome. I was uh, telling the coach where to find this game live, so I'm, I'm sure uh, we'll have some Brockton uh, fans. There's number 10, Jalissa Miles, uh, one of the captains. There's number 11, Sonali Carter. Yeah, they're try, one of the tri-captains. Number 12 is Tajaya Madison. The, the final tri-captain from the Brockton Boxers. And number 15 is Tanaya Simpson. That's the sophomore. Number 15. Yeah, one sophomore in the starting lineup, four seniors. They're all, they're all on the tall, there's not a short girl in that lineup. Nope. Um, and maybe they have some tall girls on the bench. Yeah, we see, here's our starting line for the Knights. And oh, the big news for North Andover, Maria Benvenuto yeah. fractured her wrist. Just looking at her now, she's got that cast on. That is a big hit to the North Andover Knight lineup. So Megan Daly, who's normally the handshake person, is in the starting lineup. Meg's pulled a couple starts this year, and, and, and some others have been hurt. So she's used to it. She's she's not uh, she's not shy about getting on that court and starting the game. There's Alex Clifford. So this is a smaller North Andover lineup than typical. Here's Janie Papel, the senior. 
Yeah, this is literally, like, this is a four guard, one forward lineup. So we should expect to see a lot more of Dara Bentley, the sophomore, and maybe Sophia Bowman. But we'll see how that turns out. North yeah. Andover does not want to get into foul trouble since no. the bench is even shorter than it normally is. Short bench, but you know, the good thing is it's they're not freshmen or sophomores anymore. They've all got time in and they're ready to go. Here's Sydney Rogers. Let's see if I can get the, the players to, they're, they're focused. They're not looking up here. I was hoping to get them to wave at me. Mostly a parent crowd, small student section. I see some seniors, Maisie Wood, the lacrosse stars in the front row, I think with Marin McCabe, Zach Walensky, and Jake Southfrank, who we'll see on Friday night here. Representing the boys, and I'm sure the other guys are watching the Haverhill game. They'll, they'll play the winner of that one. Yeah, so that game starts right at six like yeah. this one does. Paul, Ta Coach Paul Tangles is over there watching Haverhill for the Third time against Everett. Love the floor cam. Nice job, Nick Kissel. I love you get, you get inside the huddles. Excellent. Nick, Nick Kissel on that first yeah. place science team. And an NA camp superstar. Man of many talents. Right. Yeah. Knights taking a little extra time in the pregame huddle here. Getting the last minute instructions from Coach Devaney. Let's, let's let it roll, ladies. Yeah, 31 ranked North Andover, 34th ranked Brockton. Sidney Rogers to jump for North Andover. The infamous words of Apollo Creed, Bags. There yeah. is no tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. No, there isn't. <laughs> no. Nevaya King jumping. Uh, miss everything, I think, for Brockton. We'll see how it turns out. Number four. Well, Sidney Rogers wins the jump. Yeah, referee didn't throw that one up very high. Nope. Man-to-man -man defense for North Andover. Let's see what the... Sonali Connor, number 11. There's King. Yeah, let's see what the boxers want to run here. Let's see. A little motion, little screens. Let's see. They know their offense. There's All King right. again. Yep, pass and screen. Nice take. King on the board. 2-0. Brockton early going. You called it bags early. There's her score. Man-to-man -man pressure for Brockton, and it backed off. Alex Clifford running the point. Aggressive man-to-man -man defense. A really aggressive play. Megan Daly. They are athletes, wow. this Brockton team. It's a nice spin move by Janie Papel. Drawing Oop. the foul. Going to the line. I think that was it, on number 10. Did you if that? it's on number four, Nevaya King, then Brockton won't want that. Well, we don't. She, they can't. She can't be in foul trouble if you're rooting for Brockton. We've seen that move a lot this year with Janie, and she hasn't been getting the calls too often. But good to see that she got the call on that one. Janie Papel going with the playoff hairstyle. It's a little different from her. I don't know what her normal hairstyle is, but she looks totally different. I agree. Sunk that free throw. Two though. one Brockton. Drop it to the bottom of the net, Jane. That a girl. 
Sydney Tania Rogers. Simpson, the sophomore, almost got into trouble yeah, there. Picking that, that defense up high, just across half court. King with the ball. Double screen back. You see that? Whoa, that's, that could be trouble. North Carolina's got to watch that. Good hands. This is Madison. She stepped on the line. First turnover of the game. Good job by Meg Daly. I think Coach Domini just told Alyssa just move over a little bit closer to the line. That way she can't get by you. But nice job by uh, the North Carolina Knight defense. Brockton doing a lot more dribbling than I think they normally do. It is four across for North Andover. Yeah, the Knights are definitely in their offense bag. This is, yeah. we've seen this rotation, this screen and roll stuff all year. And that's two times in a row Janie's gotten to the hole. I don't think Brockton realizes number five, Janie Capella, is left handed. I right. think they'll find out soon. Yep. Uh, the first turnover for North Andover. Don't want to force those. Clifford on King. Madison. Nope. So there's, there's no nope. Kajini's calling out like someone pick her up. Number ten. That Good. was to Jay, to Jay uh, Madison for three. Alex Good. Clifford. Nice box out by Alex. Let's see, if, see if they can get Sydney Rogers uh, rolling here a little bit. She hasn't touched the ball yet on offense. Megan Daly got swallowed up there uh, along the baseline. They close quickly. 12 to shoot. It's Alex Clifford. Alex has been on a roll lately. She's in the tournament, she's scoring Five some points. Five to shoot. Here we go. She's got to shoot. shoot that. Avery, you got to shoot. Come on, kid. You know you can make Madison that. Madison for two. North Andover could run here. Oh, what a take. Basket and the foul. Meg Daly going hard to the hole. Tania Simpson with the foul. Navaya King with the already has a foul. She kind of backed away from Megan Daly. That's a part of the biggest game I've not seen yet this year. She just she saw it and yeah. she went. Oh, didn't touch it. Megan anything. Daly has the Janie Propel haircut. I have, to, I have to look at the number and the. That's what I thought it was. And yeah. I said, wait a minute. She looks like she's right handed on yeah, that shot. Yeah. 3 2 North Andover, 5 29 left first quarter. You're watching preliminary round playoffs, Division One, Brockton against North Andover. Yeah, across the state today, a lot of prelim games, both the boys and girls. So the, it's playoff time. Here's Madison with the ball. Watch that screen. That's Good nice, screen. That is a nice pick. Very nice. North Andover switching well, though. Yeah, good help defense there. They they recovered. Here's King. They definitely have Brockton a little out of sorts right now. Oh. Sonali Ka Carter going to the line. I think I heard Coach Barbara Enos say, here we go, or someone said, here we go, on that Brockton bench. That was a nice take. She, she just came off the screen, a little rub there, and then got to the hole and had, um, who, who got the foul? That was Avery, that Brown. Avery Brown. Okay, Avery so Brown. yeah, so Avery just couldn't square up. So this Brockton team might not be uh, on fire from, from free point land, especially if they're uh, contested. It so far, it looks like their game. They want to drive, right? Yeah. They said, all right, we're, we're a little bigger, so let's try to get to the hole. 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, the North Andover has been uh, bringing their defense kind of far out, too, so they're not getting free three-point shots. North Andover, a little weave here. Yeah, three minutes in, a little weave action. Let's see if Sydney can Sydney get off Rogers the shot. Sydney Rogers gets the first yeah. uh, touch of the game, I think. She gets oh, her own she rebound. followed it nice. Oh, unlucky bounce. King, this is the Brockton I think I've seen on YouTube. Oh, a little stutter step. Oh, oh. she gave. They are kind of susceptible to turnovers. Nice play by King, though. I love the stutter. She had the nice open look. Just uh, they couldn't connect. Yeah, she's very aware of what's going on on both ends of the floor. I don't mind this at all. Bags having Sydney bring the ball up, right? See if you can get the ball in her hands. See if you can. Run a set play They're for running that Zach Walensky yep. play. The, that is the Zach play. Tajaya Madison covering Sydney Rogers. 
King. Brockton setting things up. Little Brockton oh. boys team here just arrived just below our wow. broadcast area. <laughs> we were both like, where's that coming from? The oh, basket oh, and the foul. And one. Number 12 to Jaya Madison. No, no basket. They're not giving her. Did that ball not go in? It went in. They call it on the floor I first. I guess they did. I can erase this now. Darn it. Dara Bentley in for Avery Brown. No foul call? Okay. Nope. Avery Brown looks a little nicked up. Maybe they collided knees or something. Good defense. That's Megan Daly with the ball. Yep, that's the right look. J.D. Propel couldn't get it to go. King is fast. King, oh, nice, oh. nice hands by Sydney Rogers. She's on the floor now. King back with it. Tanaya Simpson. That was good help again. Nice job by Sydney to Sydney box Rogers out. with the rebound. And get the rebound. Travel. Simpson uh, able to keep Sydney Rogers in front of her. I think both teams are just trying to find their rhythm right now. And I think they're both getting decent shots. Yep, yeah, it's 3 3. This uh, cheering section below is not that large, but they're loud. They're loud, yeah. Oh, oh nice rebound. Woo and a spin move. Sonali Carter with the hoop. 5 3. Brockton. We have a game going on here. Garter with a nice offensive rebound and a little spin kiss off the glass. Yeah, so Brockton, pretty stout man-to-man uh, -man defenders. There's King defending Capel, Dara Bentley. Oh, that was a travel. Uh, it's all right. Fourth turnover for North Andover. Number 14 in the game, Layla. Rivera, the freshman. There she has the ball now. She's got a black shoe and a white shoe. Ooh. Be easy to spot. I don't know. I uh, thought we were at the Crozier Gym for a playoff game, Bags, but I think we could be at Brockton. It's loud yeah, for yeah, the other especially team. Especially <laughs> below us. Oh, oh nice man. hoop. Woo. That's the freshman. Oh, nice. 7-3, oh. timeout, North Andover. Wow. Lady so, Rivera with a little scoop. Not high scoring. I'd no, say the no. Brockton man-to-man -man defense has been uh, the difference. Yeah, playing good. They're playing aggressive. We've turned the corner a couple times on them. And, uh, Janie Papel has. But, yeah, Janie's did it. And Sydney did it the once and then traveled. Um, they've had a couple of chances, like, you know, getting five-foot looks and not, pa not shooting, passing the ball out. Yep. So... Clean that up a little. Defense, I think they're doing good. Like, yeah, Brockton's ahead, yeah. but defensively, I wouldn't change much what you're doing. No, but they have, they have, uh, you know, got a half step, and yep. uh, they've made North Andover pay. 7 3, Brockton lead. Playoff basketball, everyone's yeah. a little anxious and nervous, energy's high, things will settle. Nick Kissel with the cool floor shot. Yeah, there he is. Same lineup, Dara Bentley in for Avery Brown. The motion offense. See if they can. Trying to get Sydney Rogers yep. posted up. She's got to keep moving. Just don't stop. Keep moving. Make that defender, you know, find you, spot you. Megan Daly from the corner, short. Wasn't a bad shot. Good look. No. She was open. It was it was on target, just a little short. Zone defense for North Andover, like a 2-1-2. Two, two. Little matchup zone. Nope. Oh, now they are they going back to man? No, it still looks. Oh, it's a good take. To Jaya Madison. That's a couple times she's gotten to the hoop. 9-3. Wow, scoring from four different players for the boxers. They're getting to the basket. Oh, there's Good. a nice give and go, tough really pass. 
Really nice setup, a nice play. Just couldn't finish. Another travel, Good right? Travel. All right. All right, ladies, here we go. Sophia Bowman coming in, Avery Brown coming back in. Sophia Bowman, number 13. I think North Andover is playing this high pressure defense. I think if they back off Brockton, yeah. um, dare them to shoot the outside shot, you can contest the outside shot, but they're getting to the basket. And they're, I agree, right? And they're hitting their layups. Yeah, sag it in, make them shoot over, make them prove that they can shoot that three. Last minute, first quarter. Oh, that's a good play, good look. That's the Zach Walensky play. Brockton running. King. King. She likes to move that ball and push pressure the defense. Yeah, this is, I'm with you, Bailey. Like, don't go out too far, right? Don't. You, get, you get out too far on, on your, your player, and there's just a lot of space there. And I think number 14, the freshman, Layla Rivera, I think she's left handed. North Andrew, hopefully, you'll figure that out. Late arriving Brockton crowd right below us, very loud. I'm sure it's loud in the North Andover cheering section on the other side. Yeah, we don't have the we don't have a mic over there, no. so we can't hear. It's all right. Shot clock is off. 20 seconds left. North Andover going to hopefully take the final shot. That's their plan. Four across the baseline. Manton and defense for Brockton. I know who Ten I seconds. want shooting this ball bag. No matter what happens, get Cindy a screen. Let her shoot. Oh, Clifford just missed. At, nice the, three. at the end of one, box for oh. nine, North and over three. Well, things have gone the boxers' way in it this has, first quarter. It has. The, uh, man, I think the man to man defense is fantastic. I'm looking for our playoff schedule. I have it here somewhere. This week, there are quite a few playoff yeah. games. Here it is, we'll kind of get you up to date. Uh, tomorrow, there's all these round of 32 games for the remainder of the week. Ba uh, hockey and basketball, same format. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Division I, our girls hockey team going up against Natick, 6 p.m. at Veterans Rink in Haverhill, right behind Haverhill High School. The winner takes on the, uh, the winner of the Hingham Shawshin Valley Tech game. On Thursday, Leap Day, February 29th. Division II boys hockey versus Milton. That's 6 p.m. at Brooks School on Thursday. And then Vince, you and I will be here yes, on Friday for boys basketball versus the Haverhill Everett winner. We don't know what time that game is gonna, it could be five, could be 5.30, it could be six, so. We'll I'm be here, whenever it starts, we'll, we'll be, be here. here and, and everyone else, get your calendars cleared. It's gonna be hopping. And if, it's not, if you're not here, then listen to us on the broadcast. Here we go, second quarter, 9-3, Brockton. Another turnover bags. Can't give them away, ladies, come on. I've been impressed by Tejaya Madison, her defense. Give it right back. Let's see that the girls can take advantage. Sydney with a nice scoop. Up and under for two. Nice move. North Andover needed that. 9-5, Brockton. Nice job, Sydney. Yes, yeah, so Sophia Bowman defending. I'd back up here. Because Brockton's trying to get to the basket. And they're doing it well. All nine points are, are on drive. So let's uh yeah, let's see if they can hit that, that long shot. 13 to shoot. You don't want to get caught here, right? It's just see, she spun. That's too easy, Pax. We got yeah. it. Don't let her spin in the hoop, ladies. Shot clock still off. Two seconds. Do they, they see it? Are they going to get the rebound? No. Sydney fought through. Nice job. Jalissa Miles in the game, number 10 for Brockton. Uh, that rebound was hers. But Megan Daly got caught picking up her dribble. I'm sure Jackie Rogers is watching her sister in the playoffs, right? Yeah, if, Jack, if you're watching, check in. Anyone watching yeah. us and you know us, check in. I'm at Nam's Throws Camp on Instagram. You can message me there if you don't know me. Yeah, Jack Barbara Bean, Enos, the been... Brockton coach. We were going back and forth about saw, how do you catch the live stream. I saw you talking to her. It was cool. Yeah. 
Maybe Hannah Mertens watching. That was a, the last year's run with those two, just magical. If you are watching, ladies, hello. We miss you. 9-6, Brockton. Jade Papel looked good on that free throw. Nice and pure, good release. I think North Andover substituting a little more freely, I think, without Maria in the lineup. Like I said, Bowman, Bentley, Daly, nope. they're ready. They've got enough log. They've There's no one on. Oh, what happened, Bags? How does that happen? No one was on. Tanaya Simpson and the sophomore, she took it away to the basket. 11-7, Brockton. Great hoop by Simpson. Way to, way to recognize it, see it, and dice the defense. Yeah, North Andover was substituted on those free throws, and uh, they weren't sure who was covering who. Alex Clifford a great with the take, left hand. Alex. She's going to line. It's my girl, Alex. That's not her shot, the left-handed layup, so. Uh, nope, but effective. Yeah, she the, the, got, the, <laughs> got the foul call. Nick Kissel bring, giving the ball to the referee there. Nick's doing it all down yeah. there. Oh, man, Nick, look at that shot. Let me get some block shots, get some rebounds, Nick. Shout out to Alex's older sister, Taylor. We didn't, forgot her first name We did the not last forget, game. Taylor. We were just messing around. We remembered your name. So sorry. <laughs> Good former basketball pass. player. Brockton, uh, I thought they were going to run. Tajaya Madison got that pick. That high pick's been pretty nice good. Nice high pick. Good switch, though, by the Knights. Clifford and Rogers. Uh, Rivera, the freshman, with the rebound. Sonali Carter, number 11, uh, with the long hair. She looks dangerous down low. Rivera's come in and given them a big spark. Yeah, they, Brockton, they have athletes on, at, at all positions. We haven't seen them uh, hit an outside no, shot, though. They, you know, I think that's what uh, North Andover should uh, give up and see if they can hit them. I do like your strategy, Bags, a lot. I think that, that makes sense. Good Avery rebound, Brown. Sydney. Hold on to that, or Avery. Hold Danny on Bell that. comes up with it. Avery, you're getting credit for a rebound on that one. Nice job. Good fight. 11-7 Brockton. Five minutes, 35 seconds, second quarter. There's the Walensky play for Papel. Not quite there. there 15 you go. I like this. to shoot. This is what I like, Bags. A little, they give Sydney a screen. He's going to call travel. it travel, yeah. I think Sydney needs to pass it into the corner. Maybe get it back or go for the offensive rebound. Highlight package at halftime. So uh, any bathroom breaks you want to take at halftime, you get a little North Andover highlight package for you. Looking forward to that. It's going to be pretty cool over the course of the season. Lots of stuff, good stuff happening here at the Crozier. Jenny Papel, Avery Brown, Cindy Rogers. That's for three. Sydney. Come on, Sid. Almost. Good luck. Good luck. Keep taking those. 11-7 Brockton, four-point lead. Here's the good news. The ladies are fighting. They're in it. They're only down four. They'll start making shots. Yes. That's a nice fake. Oh, she got swallowed up. It's going to be Brockton ball. But you saw there was just too much space, Bags. You, you get yeah. by the first defender, and because they're so spread out and trying to cover so closely. I like but, but that was a great move. She was, did yep. the right, the jab step to the right or whatever, and run to her left. Just a slight adjustment on the defense. Like if, if you're off ball, squeeze it in. Just yep. squeeze it this in a little. Simpson gets, oh, she got fouled. Oh, that, that foul. That was, I don't, I don't, you don't I, like that one, nope, Vince? Disagree. That was, that was actually really good defense. The one where she drove and three girls hit her, the, the play before, that should have been a foul. Only the first foul, though, at Jane. Right? So that's two fouls on North and over in this second quarter. Two team fouls. Two team fouls for Brockton. Oh, nice Sophia job. Sophia Bowman. Oh, oh. we come up with it. Brockton has been known to throw that cross court pass. So if you're wise to it. Good You almost want to bait though. it. You kind of want to bait him yeah. into that pass. Right? I agree. You know, step in like you're just covering the paint and then boom. Tajaya Madison with the ball, looking for a pick by Carter. Good Carter switch. with the ball. She, she can go to the basket. 
Come on, Alex. Get out. Here we go. Clifford on a break. Too hard. She got pressure from that. Ooh, what oh, we call she there? got bailed out. Sydney Rogers with the foul. Tough one. That was a tough call. Uh, she was kind of going down mm -hmm. with her own momentum. Yep. There was contact there. Not to say there, there wasn't. And the Knights with some full court pressure here. Layla Rivera here with the ball. Again, I just back off. Back it up. The boxers were in their own version of the... Madison. Tough shot. Oh, she's going to get her own rebound. Nice play by Alex Clifford. Okay, jump ball, possession to the boxers. Nevaeh King uh, getting an extended rest here. She's not in foul trouble, I don't think. Number nope. four and for Brockton. We get a timeout by Brockton. So we talk about the bracket here a little bit, maybe? Sure, Nick can bring up the yeah, bracket. The ladies' bracket. So th this is, a, like you said, a prelim game. 31 versus 34. The winner of this game on Thursday, as Nick pulls us up, will play Wachusett Regional. And uh, I think they're the number two ranked team. I think I think they're the team. best. I think they're actually the best team. That's what the Boston Globe said too. They did a little write up and said the number two seed looks like they're the best team. In they haven't lost. Nope. They've uh, their average margin of victory is 9.9 .9 points. That's pretty good. And they. They waxed the number one seed, Bishop Fian, in, uh, in one of their recent games. Yeah, they the see only it. reason they aren't ranked number one is their strength of schedule. Not their fault, right? So to me, a tough matchup for whoever wins this game. But that's Thursday night. Right now it's scheduled for 6 p.m. We'll see. But w you don't care. You want to win and play them and give it a shot. Wachusett Regional, if you don't know, is in Holden. Do we know where Holden is, Vince? It's not by here. It's west. Hour, oh, it's know. an hour drive without traffic. <laughs> okay. It's north of Worcester. It's between oh. Fitchburg and Worcester. It's Look closer to the Worcester side of okay. uh, that line. If it's not near Sterling Heights, Michigan, then I don't know where no. it is. No. Okay. Three minutes, 41 seconds left, second quarter, 11-7. A close game, uh, oh, yep. like I pre at least I predicted. You did. This. You said it before the game. Numbers uh, double zero, Ava Montero, another senior in the game. Brockton. We're trying to post her up on this uh, far side. Yep, and look she's at that. got the That's ball off oh, her knee. Here we go. Turnover. Alex Clifford. Oh, yeah, Alex, dribble that. <laughs> go. Nice job. So Brockton turning the ball over on the offensive end a little bit more than they did in the first quarter. Yeah, that's helped the Knights, kept them in a little bit. The Knights haven't had a super clean offensive position, possession yet. Oh, Avery Brown. Avery. There, they're running out. They, good job at Clifford. This is Madison. That. Clifford with the aggressive D, I love it. Almost creating the turnover. Here's Carter, I think, here with the long hair. Oh, she Montero, off. Yes, offensive the call. Oh, they called it. That was a little too obvious. I think everyone <laughs> saw that. She had the arm extended. Four turnovers in this second quarter for Brockton, just two for North Andover. Dara Bentley in for Avery Brown for this last three minutes of the second quarter. Three team fouls by both squads, so two more before we get to the bonus two free throws. See if anyone's watching. Could my family could be watching? Hey guys, mom, Terry, Tim, mom from Sterling Heights. Mom from Sterling Heights. Welcome, Mrs. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Sawicki. Is that what I call it? Is. That's, That's right. right. Hi, Mrs. Sawicki. That's right. Sydney Rogers got free. Yes. She used the pick nicely there. Beautiful move, Sydney. 11-9. Hall of Famer Katie Foss is listening. In case North Amber people Katie. weren't sure she was in the Hall of Fame. When she did her running, was she on a back track or on a flat track? That's what we need to know before this game's over. She, I asked her. She said yeah. bank track. Well, okay. The freshman, Layla Rivera, answers for Brockton, 13-9. Oh, yeah, back. She's, she's four points, man. She's giving some energy. Nice little moves down there. Alice Clifford dri dribbled into a double team. Sophia Bowman picks it up. Step back jumper for Sydney Rogers. Does that get blocked at all? Yeah, get back bags there. Ooh, Brockton could have had numbers. Yeah, oh, so these long read. these long passes uh, can be thrown away, or, or they could be great passes. Yeah. So um, another turnover for Brockton. That's their fifth in the second quarter. Keeping the Knights in the game. Mega Thankfully. Daly in. 
asking who she has. See, that's important. Got to communicate. Terry in. Terry's watching. Katie says, Aiden, my son, Aiden Zawicki. What's up, big man? Hey, Aiden. Coach Bag says hello. Do some push-ups. Maybe at halftime you go off for a run, Aiden. There you go. Pick your dad, oh. up, a, pick your dad up a sandwich so when he gets home he... I was wrong, Bag. She what? said flat, 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 flat. Flat? No, yeah, so her times are even more impressive. She was a stud. She's in the, still in the top ten in the thousand, right? Yep, indeed. They should have a flat track, bank track conversion so we, <laughs> right, so we know how impressive her That's running right. was. Alice Clifford with the nice defending. North Anaheim maybe figuring out Brockton a little more. Carter. There's that first outside shot. Madison with a rebound. Uh, she got fouled, I think, by Alice Clifford. Yeah, it's Clifford's first, I believe. Is that two fouls on Sidney Rogers on the scoreboard? Why is one? Oh, it is? Or, she get a foul? Oh, her second. Okay. I don't think um, Sidney Rogers has two she fouls. Doesn't, she doesn't. I don't, but I, but I there was one. a number 30 on the scoreboard there. Tajaya Madison to the line, one of the tri-captains. Great man-to-man -man defender so far in this first half. And uh, the boxes are now in, uh, in the bonus free throws for the rest of the quarter. Minute 38. Oh, rebound by Carter. Oh, Great nice look. shuffle pass to Jalissa Miles. Brock, Brockton back up by six. Yeah, beautiful awareness just to know her teammates there, dish it off. They are a very unselfish team. They do uh, like to pass the ball around. Alex Clifford, Megan Daly. Seven to shoot, five to shoot. There it is, that's a good look, oh. The freshman was on, I need to throw this up. Oh no, yep, didn't know the clock was running down. 35 second violation. Third turnover for North Andover in the second quarter. Rivera getting a nice little push to get herself open from uh, to Jay and Madison. Right in front of the that, official? They, they, no, they're, yeah. they're, no, the teammates pushing each other. Pushing each other, oh yeah. Just, you go that way. Yes, and <laughs> that gives a little boost to get open. Here's Ma uh, Madison with the ball. Oh, now now you pick the pressure up. Now you pick it up. Oh, that's an offensive foul. 10 seconds. Oh, a 10 second call, All right. That was a, uh, yeah, that was I wasn't cool. paying attention, but that was a quick 10 seconds. That was very quick. Eight in my mind, bags, but maybe eight. Well, the 35 second clock doesn't lie. So you just look at that. What was it at? I don't, know. Uh, I don't know. They reset it too fast. But the referee can look at that. Janie Papel. About 13 second differential on the shot clock. Bowman. Oh, nice crossover. It's Rogers. That's a Jane good look. Capel, short. Good rebound and by the Shot. Knights. Dara Bentley, can we get it to go? Shot clock is off, 25 seconds left. That's Simpson with the ball. Now Madison, Rivera. Oh, nice cut, tough shot. All right, plenty of time, 11 seconds. Simpson uh, was not in a good position to shoot. Plenty of time to get into your offense and get a good look. 11 seconds. Janie Papel, uh, I guess she's fine. She just did, did something funny with her ankle. I kind of feel like we need, a, we need a bucket here, Bags, you know? Jump ball. It's going to be North Andover ball. With only a second and a half left. Second and oh, a half. Going to be tough to get a good look here. In a second and a half, but you can do it. Get a nice screen. Brockton in his own. Oh, nice, nice defense by uh, Madison. She saw what the she play read was. It. Yep, she totally Ref read it. Referee pointing the other way. Fourth turnover. Yeah, I thought it was Boxer's ball as well. Good half for the Boxers. Coming in to Crozier and... 15-9 yeah, at halftime. The... Uh, Six point lead after one, six point lead after two. So it's 15 now, you're watching playoff basketball. What'd we see in that first half, Vince? 
Uh, I think defense by both teams is pretty good. Turnovers kind of told some of the story. Um, we know what Brockton wants to do, right? They want to drive to the hole, get either like a little scoop shot or dish it off to a teammate. And, um, and, and the, they haven't shown they can hit a jump shot or an outside shot yet. So maybe the Knights kind of push them that way. And for North Andover, just offensively, they're doing a pretty good job initially getting their offense. And then like if there's a, a lane to shoot or drive there, it closes quickly. So they're neither either to get that jump shot off or make the quick pass to a teammate. And uh, they got to shoot better, right? If you do get open shot, they got to shoot better. Nine points and a half. So North Andover was able to turn Brockton over in yeah. the second quarter. So I think they need that to continue. And they need to get better shots. So Absolutely. Good defense by Brockton. Good defense. Or Brockton needs to play worse defense. Yeah, <laughs> right. I don't know how you look at it. Well, I mean, you can you can screen your teammates open, and but the, there's been gaps on those screens, and they're not taking a shot. They're, they're yeah. continuing to dribble and then get into trouble versus as soon as you're open, hit that jumper. So before we go to our highlight package, yeah. I, have some, I have some announcements yeah. before we some go to the stuff. highlights package. Um, the musical, the spring musical, the drama guild's putting on the musical. Uh, it's Beauty and the Beast. I'm told uh, sophomore Kylie Sawyer is the beauty and senior Sam Chittick is the beast. Um, our own Caden Bickle, Anna Cam's Caden Bickle, is uh, in the tech crew in that production. Um, quite a few track guys. Um, spring sports registration is ongoing. I have right now 456 athletes registered for a spring sport. 111 of them are on the boys track team. Okay, they get over Eight, 100. 83 yep. on the girls track All team. Right. I think there's 75 to 100 stragglers out there who haven't registered for a spring sport. You have a couple weeks. Uh, my most powerful freshman contest is this Friday. Maybe it we'll is. talk more about that in the second half, but third annual. A lot of, I don't know how many freshmen are going to show up, but some of the former freshmen yeah. are fired up. After right. the freshman contest, uh, we're going to do some power measurements for some upperclassmen. And we, we keep a, you know, an all-time top ten list. Yeah. So um, Elif Altenkilich is uh, North Andover's all-time most powerful girl. So she's going to be in that. Um, Makes sense. She's a good thrower. So, and we have uh, trophy. Boys and Girls Trophy t-shirts, I, I have snacks. just want to let the crowd know, man, the t-shirts look cool. You know, Vince, if you show up, we test your power. I could try it, man. Yeah, you're I'm still in, powerful, you're still yeah. a, and you're still a young guy. Sure. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going in there. No, well, know. you got that length, man. You I, do have the, I do have the length, but I yeah. don't have the age working against no. me. Um, all right, so uh, this highlight package, we some point, some highlights of the year, uh, a lot of uh, points in the paint. And uh, then Sidney Rogers is going to go off. And then we're going to see uh, some plays on the floor. So Nick Kissel, not Nick Kissel, Nick uh, Maxwell is going to put together this highlight package. Here we go. Enjoy, everyone. This is really cool.
North Andover Cam invites you to be a good sport. This is your chance to get in the game and learn about television and media production. We have lots of volunteer opportunities for covering local sporting events. Enjoy the games, meet new people, and have a lot of fun with your choice of crew positions. You can be a camera person, you can be a director, you can be a tech helper, or you can go for the gusto and get behind the microphone to call all the action. He's going to go deep. Wide yes, open. Man. He's got a touchdown, Scarlet Knight. Let's get a nice open look. Brian Gorda for three. Yeah, okay. That was huge, Bags. That's a two-on-one shorthanded. That shot goes in. Shot. Score! And that's Marubi's second goal. Lots of sports opportunities are coming up, and this is your chance to get in on all that excitement. Visit North Hanover Camp at 70 Main Street today or give us a call at 978-687-6570. Get on the field with North Hanover Cam today and be a good sport. And we're back uh, for the second half. It's Brockton 15, North Hanover 9 in this preliminary round game. Shout out to class of 2023's Hannah Martin. She's killing it at Smith College basketball. They, uh, Smith College just won uh, the New Mac Conference Tournament. They cruised through it. And in the final, Hannah Martin, 21 points. Wow. Seven of nine shooting from three Man. point. All her points were from behind the arc. Well, we've seen, we saw a lot of that while she was here at the at the Crows, man. And uh, N- Division Three NCAA is Friday night. Yep. We'll be here for the boys game, but... Uh, well, Hannah, we'll be following you for sure. So shout what's out going to her. On. Yeah, congrats. So six-point Brockton lead going into the third quarter. What, do we have any statistics? Yeah, well, we got a few. Little. The night scoring led by Sydney Rogers with four, Janie Papel with three, and Megan Daly had that early two. The uh, the boxers are getting scoring from a lot of people. They got one, two, three, four, six people scored. Rivera with four, Carter with three, King with two, Madison with two, Miles with two, and Simpson with two. So a lot of people scoring there. Yeah, um, and since we don't really know Brockton that well, they seem to have a lot of interchangeable parts. It seems they all can hit that uh, that spinning move and yep. that they, they, they rotate or whatever the spin the move spin in the move cool in the paint which the is layout. tough because you're usually running into traffic and they stuff. They all but can hit it. Uh. Well, we, as we said at halftime, you and I, they, they look athletic and they can handle the ball and they play great pressure defense. So we'll see what Coach Devaney and Coach Martin have come up with here at halftime to get the Knights loose. And they're coming up with a man-to-man defense to start out. Playing a high man-to-man. Let's see. Oh, the, switch, the miscommunication on that switch. Brockton didn't take advantage. Nice give and go off Carter's knee. That's good defense. A good recovery by Meg Daly. Simpson. Yeah, give and go again. That spin move is so and she, hard. And she, and she realized where the open yep. uh, player was. She, she's super aware of what's going yeah, on on the court. King. King. King is a baller. She knows the game. She knows the floor. She knows what's going on. She knows where people are. And as soon as that double team came bags, boom, she hit her teammate for the easy look. Who was that foul on? They say Sydney, Sydney Rogers. Uh, they're trying to get the... Yeah, no, no, no. no. It was they say Sid- he was, uh, Sydney wasn't near the play. Yeah, there's Avery Brown's trying to get the foul called on her. No, they don't, they're not going to correct it. Oh, my gosh. Sydney wasn't even near the play. Oh, come on, refs. There's three of you. That's too bad. That is, wow. That could play a huge part in this game. Simpson for three. That was uh, Madison on the rebound. Is Carter. Good defense by Brown. Got a trap. The clock was not moving. The 35 second clock was not moving. Oh, or they wanted to reset on the miss. On the miss. Uh, Coach Davini uh, can't quite believe that. It's going to be 30 seconds on the clock. I'm not sure what the rule is. But I think they're claiming the ball hit the rim, so they should have reset the clock. Things not quite going the night's way right now. Nice. Madison uh, for two. Little st- stutter move there, giving the shimmy with the left shoulder. To Jaya Madison. So they have the moves uh, in the lane. Brockton does. 17 9, biggest uh, lead, eight points. Defense, 
Good take by Sidney Rogers. Sidney Rogers absorbed the contact and they hit the two, 11, uh, 17, 11, six point. So this is just, it's just interesting to me, because you've got a Brockton team that can drive and dribble and we're pressuring them high and they, they can, they really do well with faking left and right and getting us off our stop spot. Just stay back, let them mm -hmm. shoot over you. The, that way the fakes don't matter. Madison with the ball, she got to the hoop. And she's going to the line. I just got a text from the Hall of Famer, Katie Foss. She said, I was watching that play literally. She's rebounded. It. it was 100% Avery's foul, not Sydney's. We got verification. Come on, ref. Well, I had a little doubt there, Vince. But now that Katie's checked <laughs> yeah. in, I'm all doubt is gone. That's right. That Sydney Rogers was not anywhere near I that never action. Knew it. Too bad. 18-11, seven point. Brockton lead. Yeah, the Knights need to come up with something here. This game's gonna eight point. Back to the biggest lead. Gonna get away from get away from here. You you, you gotta run your offense. You gotta get some looks. Avery Brown with the ball. Janie Papel. Nice, nice crossover. Yes. Oh, she, I think she should have stuck with her yep. left hand there, but she's going to the line. Good move, Jane. I, I think yeah. she could have had an one if she stays left. Yeah, well, yeah, that was good. Fake to the right, yep. go to the left. They, they kind of forgotten she was left-handed. That was a Brockton move right there. <laughs> it, yeah. was, it was. <laughs> Six minutes, 13 seconds left. Third there we quarter. go. Grimm's getting a little more friendly. Sophia this Bowman half. coming in early. Uh, and Sydney Rogers is coming out. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Three fouls by Sydney Rogers. For sure, two for real. Yeah, but that's a bummer. Man, it's still, taking her out of the yeah. game. At this point, it's only six minutes. While we're, I mean, we got a lot of ball left in the second half. Has Sydney Rogers come out of the game at all this year? I don't remember. Maybe. No, yeah, we'll see what North Andover looks like. Triple team. Trying to speed Brockton up. But luckily, that ball took a funny bounce. Yeah, and they, and got, they the got, got the turnover. And a foul. Well, in a sense, Sidney Rogers in the game, it might be they're trying to small lineup. That's it, right? Just so this this it does make a little more sense because you've got yeah. some speedier play players in there with Bowman yeah. and and Daly. They you know, they got good quicks. But also you want to use up your energy. Right. Mm. Especially if you don't play a lot. Janie Propel. Going with the left again. Go help her, ladies. There you got to move. Jump ball. It's going to go to the north end over. Avery, you got to rip that ball. Rip it away. It's our possession. Six, We're okay. six point lead, 19-13. No one's covered Bowman. Going to fire it short. Get back, ladies. Don't let Rivera get on the run, the freshman. Right, she She's going all the way. Oh my lord. Rebound by Madison. We had four knights there and they got the rebound. They were expecting a foul call by the referee. I imagine another eight point lead by Brockton. Janie Papel, she's down. North, uh, Brockton breaking. Oh. Well, luckily, bad foul. They threw it away. The ball back. Janie Papel fell down, was looking for a foul, didn't get it. Sydney Rogers, that was enough of a rest for her. You can't let the game get away from you, right? You just can't. Yeah. Whether she's got. Three fouls or not in the books. All right, let's get those screens. I like that shot, Cheney. That was a nice offensive design play. Offensive rebound. Good save by the Knights. I think they're going to be rocked in basketball. Here with a nice rebound there. Almost got possessed. They're going to go full court press again. Well, they're down eight, so maybe that's the right move. I mean, it's been okay that Brockton hasn't really scored off the yeah. full court press. Oh, that's not a good Jules. spot to be dribbling the ball. Maybe be timeout. Is it a timeout? Timeout, timeout. Brockton. Maybe we'll do some uh, some uh, winter sports update. Um, we haven't been able to talk about the track team in a while. The uh, wow. girls at Division II States, the girls were tied for fourth out of 34 teams. 
Erica Wojcik, McKenna Duby, Alif Altakilic, your daughter, Olivia Sawicki, yeah. and Nicole Kroon. Scored some points. They, they were in the top five in their yeah. events. Erica Wojcik came in second in yeah. the 1,000, your Katie's event. Yeah. The boys, three-peat state champions for the third time. In exciting fashion bags, yeah. the last race of the day, they four by four. They th three relays finished the yep. array, finished the meet, and North Andover scored 22 of their yeah. 61 points in the relay events. Um, I'm going to say Luke McGilvery, Dylan Cody, Mickey Valentino, Ajani Musasadia starred individually for Indeed. North Andover, but the relays were the story. Big, big. Last minute victory, basically. Last it was. second minute yeah, victory. It was exciting. They won the four by two and the four by four. So three times state D division two champions for the track team. All right, eight point Brockton lead. Four minutes, 50 seconds left third quarter. King picked up the ball. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Couldn't take advantage There's though. Madison. Sydney Rogers on King. It's an interesting matchup there. King's got wiggle. 10 seconds to shoot. That might have been a travel. She shuffled those yeah, feet. Yeah, Jalissa Miles for three. That, that. That's going to be uh, no, the Bedford ball. It's going to count as a turnover for North Andover. That's their first one in this third quarter. Not a lot of turnovers in this third quarter so far. I don't give up an easy one here. Protect the basket. There we go. Five seconds almost. Oh, close. King with the ball. Someone Good called for a carry yeah, across the way. It was close. Rivera. I, I like the switching by North Andover. Yep. That means they're communicating. I like it. Just talk to each other. If you can get over the top 15 of the screen. to shoot. Do it. If not, talk to your teammate. Rivera. That's a good switch right there. Jump ball yes. from North Andover's way. Nice job, Janie Papel. But the, that was basically two possessions. A minute and one off the clock. Right. Dara Bentley back in for North Andover, sophomore. Let's see what the Knights can do on offense here. I got to free up Sydney or Janie for a nice open look. Man-to-man -man defense for Brockton the entire way. I, don't yep. think, I haven't even recognized any zone from them. Look, right. a three-pointer right here, Bags. This could be big. Oh, just missed. Back iron. Rebound Bentley. There's my Energizer bunny in the paint, Dara Bentley. Clifford for three. Oh, just off Another the Another rebound of the for North Hanover. Sydney Rogers trying to three from the corner. There we go. 21-16, five point Brockton lead. Big, big shot by Big Shot Rogers. That a girl, Sid. North Hanover needed that. Close it down, now box out. Nice hit out. Nice oh, tip, double, Alex. double tip by two North Andover players. Nice play, ladies. And one. Where's the foul? She got bumped. She certainly got bumped. Brockton was on the end line. It's going to be North Andover basketball. Brockton got a little break oh, there. Oh, that was big. Was that Alice Clifford Alex. that got bumped on the way to the basket? She got cleaned out. She got the old hip check. Yeah. But no call. Big possession here for the Knights. Three minutes left, third quarter. Take advantage. Knock this down to a one possession game. Oh, that's great. Take Janie. Three by Rogers, a two at the basket by Janie Papel. Three point game, Vince. And the Crows is getting excited. Oh, that's a backcourt violation. Oh boy, the crowd's getting into it. Let's go, Knights. Wow, the tables have turned so quickly there. <laughs> Brockton's going to call a timeout. Big timeout by the boxers. They needed it. It's like uh, both teams got a little personality <laughs> change there for those <laughs> last couple minutes. Big change, fans. Like, and it was just two baskets, a three and a two, but it uh, seems like Huge. we're going to play a little highlight, Vince, or? I think this so. This is a, like yes, a senior highlight. Little, yep. We're going to do a little Avery Brown and Maria Benvenuto highlights here. Maria Benvenuto out with a fractured wrist, but she's jumping up and down at the, on the North Andover bench. Enjoy. That's Avery Brown, is it not? Avery Brown with a nice little rebound there, like inside move. There's 
Avery. That's no, that's Avery. Look at her working the paint. I'd like to see her do that. Here we go for some Maria highlights. A little scoop and score. Great senior year for Maria and Avery. Maria is a track captain this spring. Avery uh, going to do lacrosse. Cross superstar and track superstars. Here we go. Here we're back. Two minutes, 38 seconds left. Third quarter. Brockton by three. North Andover on a 5-0 run. And they have the ball. This place will explode with a bucket bag. So will explode. Here, is this, a, oh, this is a box and one, I think. This is a box and one with Sidney Rogers yep. being covered yep. by Tajaya Madison. Darrett yeah, Bentley limping after that play. Stobble. I think she'll be okay. Good strategy. Oh man, I don't know. By Maybe Coach not. Enos. Madison. Get that rebound. Come on, Dara. That a girl. Dara reads the rebound. Dara can rebound. This is a this is a box and one with it Madison sure on Sidney Rogers. This is not something you do a lot of work on on your offensive sets, back. And they may not even recognize it. Sidney Rogers, I'm sure, recognizes it. Oh, but Sydney the was rest open. of the team. Sydney was open. Oh, nice strip by Madison on uh, Clifford. The intensity has picked up in this game. Madison. Oh, Clifford. Go, go Alex. With the turnover. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, here we go, Jay. Pell with oh. the right hand. Clifford. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be New Bedford ball. ball. Yep. Dara Bentley's still limping. I think she wants to come out. She is coming out. That limp did not get any better. I, would like I think it's her left leg. Yeah, it's, she's, she must have twisted an ankle down there. I would have liked to see Janie catch that ball and jump stop, let the defender yeah. fly back. She, that was a tough angle. But great play by Clifford. Good lead pass. This full court press surprisingly has kind of caused problems yeah. for the boxers because we haven't seen the Knights do this at all this year. Rivera. That's going to be on Sydney. Oh boy, Bags. Oh. That tough call. We have to check in on Katie what she thinks of that call. Yeah, Katie, let me know. Was that a foul? Didn't look like it, but you know, Sophia Bat Bowman coming in. Bags and I, we got cameras in front of us and fences. And I think the uh, the trailing defender kind of gave her a bump. Yep. And then yep. uh, she bumped into Sidney Rogers, I agree. who probably had good position. But it's, it's, it's the, on the other side, or was it Alex Clifford got bumped? And yep. No call. So uh, Sidney Rogers going back to the bench. I'll tell you what. That's Alex a foul. Clifford running in uh, another rebound. That was a foul. But they didn't call it. Still a three-point game. Avery Brown. There's a turnover in North Andover. All right, compose yourself. So Four no turnovers home. for Brockton in this third quarter. Three for North Andover. Bowman getting a lot of run for the Knights. Nice Just double team well. there. Madison with the ball. Trapper, trapper, trapper. Oh, almost. Janie almost had that steal. Alex Clifford leaving it all on the floor here in the second half. He played hard. Nice, oh, nice, nice defense, Janie. The double came over from Sophia Bowman as well. Almost had Janie beat. She recovered well. Last 53 seconds, third quarter. Simpson. No, Car excuse me, Carter. That nice good double defense. team. No oh, one left the rebound for either. North Andover. No backside box so out. Alyssa Miles there. While the double team came for the ball, they didn't block the shot. This is zone defense. There's still boxing one. The, bo the box is not longer <laughs> in the game, so they don't know. Brockton's not sure. They're in the zone. Ooh. Ladies, set up the zone offense. All the way, Jane. There you go. There you go. 23-20 Brockton. No one's on Madison if they throw this long pass. Too late. Bowman recovered. Rivera. There she goes. Simpson. Oh, she oh, excuse me. Carter. Carter. Fight for that ball. <laughs> Megan Daly. Rivera, the freshman. Nice rebound, rebound. Bowman. And that'll do it for the third wow. quarter. Frenetic third quarter. 
Yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff happened, but not a lot of scoring at the <laughs> oh, end of no. that third quarter. It's 23-20 Brockton. North Danaberg uh, made up half of the halftime deficit. Do we have another clip to play while we talk about? Uh, we got Alex Clifford, senior Alex Clifford, for your viewing pleasure. Are the gymnastics team seventh out of 12 teams in the North sectional? Caitlin McKaylee, third in the all around. She's just a junior, Carlin Wong, 23rd. And here are the highlights. Alex with her little, I love her little crossover dribble with the shot. Nice three, we could use a couple of those in this fourth quarter. They're setting up nicely, good balance, boom. Great fake. Nice job, Alex. Hey, we got some pentathlon stuff happening too, bags. With today. What? Pentathlon today and tomorrow. Oh yeah, so um, I didn't see any really updated results after the hurdles. Oh, so what are the five events in the in the pentathlon? Pentathlon, events? five events. You will love this. It is the hurdle, the high the hurdles, high yeah. Hurdles, fifty-five or sixty, right? For fifty-five the boys. meters, 55, high, fifty-five. Yeah. yeah. You got long jump. Got to jump long. Jump, yeah. You got to jump high. The high jump. High jump, yeah. And then you got to show your muscles and shot put, right? You got to throw that Get ball. Shot put. And then the last event, which everyone really hates, is the 800. And for the boys, it's a thousand. I oh wow! I'm giving you an A plus. I was ready Thank just you. to give you an A, but <laughs> I didn't know you did this. So the boys uh -huh. run a little farther. That's right. So North Andover have the ball to start this fourth quarter. Brockton boys be hello us saying defense. Brockton one is back on. Sydney Rogers, who's back in the game with four fouls. Huge possession for the Knights. If they can score here, just get the crowd back in the game. Bowman. I love that the move. Basket. Athletic move. Brown with the rebound. Daly with the fake. Oh, Very good energy. look. Let's go, Avery. Go up, Avery. Jump ball. That was Norton a quick Lubet. jump ball call. It was a quick whistle. Wow. New Bedford ball. I don't know how you call that. Neither girl even had the ball for half a second. These North Andover players playing like there's no tomorrow, and <laughs> th if they don't win, there's, yeah. there's no tomorrow. Love to see it. Whoever uh, loses what? this game is That's done for the year. Yep. Both teams want to make that trip to Wachusett Regional on Thursday. But ferocious offensive rebounding there by North Andover. Yeah, I mean, you, you, can't, you, you can't complain about getting three, four possessions. Madison with the ball. Got a nice pick there from Miles. Oh! It's going to be a backcourt. Oh, just stealing a bucket. Come on, Jay. Oh, I thought she was going to lose the ball. See, that's a good play. Smart, smart, smart. Here we go, Bags. One point Here game, 23 22. This full court press, uh, and uh, there's another turnover. Oh, the Knights are rolling. The Crozier is hopping. You know, I'm going to admit a mistake. I didn't think the press would work. I didn't either. Timeout Brockton. Uh, Brockton a little sloppy with the basketball on this press. We wonder what Coach uh, Devaney and Coach Martin would come up with, and they, they full court pressed it, and what it's, it's sped up Brockton. It's kind of got them fast. But if, if they get by that first person, there's a double team coming, yeah. but if they can set a, send, a, send a good pass, they could get some easy baskets, but that's not what happened. That's not happening, right? I love it. Oh, the science team still in first place. That snowless snow day canceled their competition. I think they, I thought they were going to cancel the competition, but someone told me they might make it up. So okay. first place science team. How's the math team doing, Vince? Yeah, go, Bags, how is the math team doing? I thought they were going to update something on social media. I didn't see uh, it. Yeah, I don't, we don't know what the math team's know. up to. We've asked all season long to get the math updates, and no one's providing it to They're us. They're dividing by zero. It's undefined <laughs> it's how the math undefined. team is doing. Sure. All right, so uh, final, we're in the fourth quarter, preliminary round of the playoffs. One team moves on to Thursday night's game at Wachusett Regional. And one team uh, hopes for better next year. But a lot of seniors on this court, Vince. A lot of seniors. More, more on Brockton's yep. side, but a ton of seniors on both teams. As we said, Brockton has eight seniors on this roster. Yep. Only one junior. It's North Andover basketball. Seven minutes, ten seconds left. Fourth quarter, one-point game. Still want, in that box and one. You want to hear an explosion. See the Knights score here. The place will go bonkers. Boy, these, these 
These Brockton boys are loud. I love it. Yeah. Love it. They're pounding on the uh, Papel uh, with it. Oh my! In and out. God. Come on, Avery Brown with the rebound, and she's gonna Fouled. foul on Brockton. Avery has destroyed the glass, offensive glass in this quarter. I love it. Just crushing oh. rebounds. You know, Vince. I don't know if you have experience with the box and one. I do. But sometimes you don't want really want to set up the person who's covered. If you get that person to set some picks, right? Hello there, Sydney Rogers. Oh. Got the open three. Avery Brown almost came. Avery! Oh, Avery Brown <laughs> coming up with the board there. I think that might have been off of Avery. I think it was, but you know, we but we rolled a couple calls. It's, it's kind of evens out as it always does. Especially since Sydney has four fouls somehow. <laughs> <laughs> she really only has two. Now this is a 2 3, it looks like. Yeah, man, back to a traditional 2 3 zone. Sydney should be able to get it. Her and Janie should be able to get a three point look Megan here. Megan Daly. Easy. If Especially they, with just the two guards out there. If they snap that pass, bags like really yeah. move, 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 you know? Boom, right here, another pass to the right. They seem to be catching their breath, North Andover is. Yeah. There's a shot right there. Oh, that's a good move, Janie. Bowman with a Bo sweet stop. Oh, too hard. Stepping. Oh, offensive rebounds galore for North Andover in this fourth period. Sydney Rogers. Oh, unlucky. The just shot clock shot was going clock. off. So this that is the drawback of the zone, right? Is yep. offensive re you give up offensive rebounds and the Knights are taking advantage. Alex Clifford back in for Sophia Bowman. We can't hear the North End of the student we, section we across the way, but I'm sure they're pretty noisy. Yeah, they're clapping over there. We can see that. Rivera to Madison. Yeah, Sydney Rogers can't. <laughs> Can't pick her up. She got that fourth foul. And that's what uh, we talked about during the timeout. If they could break the press with a nice pass, they could uh, get some easy baskets. It's Madison with her 10th point. She's in double digits. This zone is kind of slowing North Andover up. See if they get some good shots. Clifford. They've worked Papel. some good opportunities against this zone bags. They're really good. Daly. That's, that's a layup. She, she should have shot the ball where she had it. Oh, my God. On the line, turnover. Why, man? You got to shoot that. Three-point Brockton lead. Just be confident, Meg. You can do it. You're a good ball player. Here we go. Things are heating up here, Vince. I yeah, can feel are. the tension. Just kidding. Every second it ticks off the Double clock. Double team this is 10 there. The freshman sure. just threw it away. Steel. The ball fakes are working. You can catch. Oh, that's a wide open three bags. Boom! Rich, tie game, Vince. To all tied what up. What is going on here at the Crozier? Two on one break oh, here. Oh, Sydney can't risk a foul. Oh, good hustle by Avery. Yeah. North Andover must, they must be in great shape because they've been going 100%. Yeah. And they're oh, on oh. the line. Turnover. Like we said, Bags, Brockton is sped up and they can't get control of the their offensive set. Timeout North Andover. Wow. Wow. Do we have another highlight thing, Nix? <laughs> Just want to, as he's getting that set up, the boys' yeah. pentathlon today. Nate Sullivan, Adam Bernat, and Trey Keen. Good luck. Hopefully they're crushing it. I heard no school. There's, a, there's an individual competition and there's a team competition. We got Janie Papel highlights, Bags. We'll get back okay. to the track. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Nick's all set here. Senior Janie Papel. The masterful dribbler knows how to get to the rack. The left-handed three, it's money. Another one, that's, that's a good looking shot. I, I expect one or two of those into this game. Back to the butt. Got a girl. So uh, the, I think the turnover has been the story here yeah. uh, in this late third, early fourth. There's 19 turnovers for Brockton, 13 for North Andover. It's all tied up. What a time to pull out the full court press for the Lady Knights at the first playoff game of the year. I said this game would been gonna, was going to be close, sure the did. closest game all game. I was kind of guessing, but... I should admit that. I think I think watching warm-ups gave us a little clue. Like well, the, right, yeah, the, 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 the power rankings. rankings. And, yep. Records and scores. You're like, okay. Back to man-to-man -to -man for Brockton. Sidney Rogers playing with four fouls. Well, three fouls, plus the, but they've called four. Janie Papel with the ball. 
Trying to get to her left. She That's got to her left. Job. She, she Avery, Avery Brown with another rebound. Oh, nice block by from Carter. From behind. Brockton running. Madison. Oh, stutter step. What it a great was. move. Carter gets the rebound. Oh. Two point lead for Brockton. 27 25, 4 15 left, fourth quarter. Great sequence for the boxers there. Carter with the finish. Daly for three. Too long. Uh oh. No! There's no way that was a foul. That's and a horrible, Sydney horrible has foul. Fouled out. She can't believe it. And that that, that unfortunate phantom foul that she got a couple uh, the quarter last quarter comes into play. Wow. So two point Brockton wow. lead. Four minutes, six seconds left. Sydney Rogers has fouled out. She still has one year left, so this is not the end of nope. her high school career. Northana was sticking with the press. Nice job. They got it. They got it. They got it. Oh, and a steal. Bowman with the steal. I'll tell you what. Bowman and Bentley. I'd like to see Bentley get back in the day. The energy has been awesome. Well, senior Janie Capel is going to take over. Bowman's got that nice little fake and, yeah. fake and go. And oh. one! Oh! Tough shot. Woo! With the right backs. Janie says, don't worry, Sid, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Nevaeh King can't believe she got the call on her. Janie kind of snuck underneath her, went up with the right hand. Maybe it. the contact helped her put that shot in. All tied up, Vince. Well, when you're, when you're a defender and you're used to her going left, 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 right? Big, big, come on, get that free throw. Oh, Bowman. Bowman. Kin come up with it. It's going to be Brockton ball. Great hustle. I'm not sure Dar Bentley's going to get back in. No, her ankle. I'm looking, yeah, at the bench. Looks like she's uh, kind of rubbing and holding that ankle tight. That's all right. These five have played with amazing, amazing energy. King with the ball. Great help defense, Avery Brown. Stopping that drive. Carter. Nice looking drive. Nice play by Bowman to take the ball away from her. Regroup, regroup, Madison regroup. for three. Nice rebound, Jay. All tied up. Three minutes, eight seconds left. Big possession for the Knights Coach here. Coach calls out the five offense. That means Jenny Papel going to the basket, apparently. Get the loose ball. What's he calling? Kick, kick a kick ball Ooh. on someone. It's going to be Brockton basketball. Oh, my. Like, that, so... That's a that's a bad call. I will tell you, that's not that's not what a kickball is. Timeout, North Andover. She was laying on the ground and the ball rolled off her leg. That's not a kickball. Mm. Wow, bags. Coach Davini's giving this well, official some thoughts. She, she's probably saying the same thing. Hey, he, she was laying on the ground, ref. But okay, just a bummer. The, the refs have played in a part in this game, and I don't like to see refs playing mm -hmm. parts in games. But anyway. So with the state uh, yeah. coaches pentathlon, they're still yeah. running the 1,000. Yeah, okay. Running the um, 1,000. So we don't know really what's going on. Trey uh, Keene had the best, not surprising, yep. probably the best mark in the shot put. He is a shot putter. Tomorrow's the girls. We've got uh, a girl, named, girl named Olivia Sawicki. Oh, the, yeah, the state pentathlon. Who state we got in the state Olivia pentathlon? Olivia Sawicki, Juliana Jankowski, and Whitney Smith. Three formidable pentathletes. I saw uh, Juliana and Whitney getting in some shot for practice today. <laughs> Did you so, give them some coaching? Actually, Juliana ha knows the no. shot put from last winter right. to some extent. Right. Uh, Whitney's a total beginner with the, the shot put, so we'll see what happens. They all, you know, Juji can high jump, Whitney can hurdle. Olivia, and high jump. And, and high long jump. jump. Yeah, so I mean, they, the three of them should do okay. Yeah. It'll be fun. I'll be there tomorrow. All right. All yep. right. So you can have a full I'll report full on Thursday, Friday. That's oh, right. Here's the press here. Last three oh, minutes. Oh, they got another turnover, Bags. Oh, they had it. Carter for three. In and out. I didn't expect her to be firing. That was a great box out by Alex Clifford. Great box All out. All tied up. 240. Clifford. Oh, oh nice no, Excuse me. Look. Papel. Back to Daly. Going to reset the offense. 20 seconds to shoot. Foul, ref. That's a push. Timeout, North Andover. 
The ball was loose, I think, yeah, and they gave them the timeout. It was going to be North Andover ball, but. All so, right, well, no Sydney Rogers. No, How do you, what do you think of this new yeah. look Scarlet Knights here? So I like. We've never seen this all we year. We haven't seen it all year, but the press. I think that's their. I think that's what they get for an offense. They got to get a steal so they can get a fast break and a layup. The set offense is if Janie can kind of make a move and get a screen maybe and find some open space. Um, you see, Beck, no one else seems to want to shoot. So yeah. for the Knights, right? Maybe Clifford, Alex Clifford. You know, she's a willing shooter, but the other the yeah. other three are kind of getting rebounds and passing the balls out back to Janie. Yeah. So the, it's gonna be tough to score when you've got one or two options out there. But I love the energy they're playing. Yeah, their they're in great. Out. They're in great shape. I'm getting tired of watching right. them run around. They have they have not shown any uh, fatigue at all in this press. No. And you think that at least I when I had to put on the press, I'd like fall out purposely yeah. trying to. It's tough to do all game long, and they've done it. They've been offensive rebounding as well. Oh, nice move, Ale or Al Alex. It's Simpson defending. Five to shoot. Oh, you got to shoot, Jay. Shoot. Oh, unlucky. Still tied. Two minutes, nine seconds left. It's not going to be any bonus uh, unless a team starts fouling intentionally. And there's no reason when it's in the tie. Oh, another turnover! Ooh, how she threw the ball out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like the, well, the direction of the energy. I just, going. this is weird to me. This is weird. North Andover's gotten a couple calls, but I think like eight out of ten have That's gone. That's a tough pass. Yep, oh, good tip. Good tip by... 15, Simpson, recover that ball. 22 to shoot, 150 left. Simpson, uh, Carter, excuse me, the King. King is, that's a great stutter. Ooh, Alice Clifford got her hand in there. Are they gonna give her two shots or are they gonna be side out? She's gonna give her two shots. That was the act of shooting? Mm. Okay. Minute Close. 47, more, minute 47 left. Short on the first. first one. Still a tie game. Brockton's kind of shortened their bench a little bit in this uh, ladder. They the have. That's Another miss free throw. Rebound Brown. Avery with a great rebound. Sophia Bowman getting extended playing time in this playoff matchup. And she has played outstanding. Clifford. Brown, Propel. There's a nice spin, Jay. Nice spin. Oh, look. Daly, she could have taken that. That would have been a, that was close to a travel. Woo. Brown looking at the basket. Propel, eight to shoot. Oh, she got pushed. There there got got it. Oh. That was a pushback. That was a pretty easy call. Oh. Oh. I don't think, think it was necessary. I think she was going to take yeah. that yeah. shot. Right, 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 right. Go 